Thomas the Tank Engine enjoys taking specials. Today he was bringing a special to Brendam Docks. His load was to go onto a cargo ship. The ship was scheduled to depart at sundown. Thomas had to get to the docks before them. But the load was very heavy. So Thomas puffed as hard as he could. He pulled so hard, he broke his coupling rods. He wasn't going anywhere. Oh dear, Thomas said, I'll be late. His driver saw an old shed near the track. If there's a telephone in there, I could call for help, he said. Hurry, said Thomas, and be careful. It looks spooky. Then a voice boomed from inside the shed. Do you mind? I'm trying to sleep. Thomas hoped it wasn't a ghost. Then his driver appeared. Is it a ghost? asked Thomas nervously. It's a surprise, his driver teased. Then the fireman took some of Thomas's coal and headed off to the shed. She could get us to the fitter's yard, his driver said. If her boiler holds, added the fireman anxiously. What kind of surprise is that, Thomas wondered. Thomas, meet Elizabeth, said his driver. At last, the doors opened and out chuffed a dirty, grimy steam truck. So you're the little puffer that's broken down, she sniffed. Thomas was cross. And you're just an old steam truck, he retorted. That would be vintage steam truck, snapped Elizabeth. And I haven't much time to get to your coupling rods. The driver was concerned. Elizabeth was making awful grinding sounds. She's not built for hills, he said anxiously. You're losing steam, he called. Just catching my breath, Elizabeth chuffed. And finally she made it. When Elizabeth returned with Thomas's coupling rods, she was pleased with herself. And next time, don't be so careless, she scolded. Thomas thought Elizabeth was the rudest truck he'd ever met, but he was very happy to get his new coupling rods. Thomas made it to the docks just in time. What took you so long, said Sir Topham Hatt. Thomas told him about his broken coupling rods. He wanted to tell him how rude Elizabeth had been when she rolled up. Oh, it's you, said Thomas, down Sir Topham Hatt. Have you learned to drive properly yet? She's in trouble now, said Thomas to his driver. Elizabeth, said Sir Topham Hatt fondly. My first truck. I thought you had been lost. They were old friends. It was too much for Thomas. Then Elizabeth told Sir Topham Hatt how she'd been left in the shed for years. Sir Topham Hatt was so pleased Elizabeth had been found. He asked Jem Cole to restore her to her original beauty. And soon Elizabeth had a rich, dark color and gleaming coachworks. You're the grandest truck in the whole railway, Sir Topham Hatt said proudly. I know, said Elizabeth even more proudly. And Thomas had to agree, she did look grand.